Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about Cantor's paradox. This paradox has to do with the theoretical construction of the set of all sets. And ultimately what we want to prove is that this cannot exist. If you're familiar with Bertrand Russell's paradox, the paradox that Russell came up with also implies that the set of all sets can't exist, but we'll be proving this in a different way using Cantor's theorem. Now let me remind you of what Cantor's theorem says. It says that if X is not the empty set, then there does not exist a function that goes from x to the power set of x such that it is a surjection. So there's no surjection from a non-empty set to its power set. And that's going to be our main tool for proving that there is no set of all sets. So let's prove this. What we're asserting is that the mathematical universe V is not a set. So like troublesome mathematicians, what we're going to do is that we're going to assume otherwise. So suppose V is a set. What that allows us to do, first of all, is that we can take its power set to exist. And this is uh, the set of all subsets of V. What we observe now is that the elements of the power set of V are the subsets of V. So they're all sets. So that means that each element of the power set of V is a set. This is going to come in handy in just a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to construct a surjection. That's going to be the function f from the mathematical universe, which we have assumed to be a set to its power set P of V. And here's how we're going to define it. What we're going to do is that we're going to say F of X is equal to either it's the, the identity function if X is an element of the power set of V or we just map to the empty set if X is not an element of the power set of V. Let's take a look at whether this is in fact a surjection. We know that the element, each element of the power set of V is a set. So when we map from the mathematical universe of all sets to the power set, every element of the power set gets hit because each, each, each element in here has a copy in here. And, that's, and this, everything gets hit uh, in the power set of V because we're using the identity function in this case. And the rest, if there is anything else inside V, 
we just arbitrarily map to the empty set. We can map to something else as well, but this is the easiest one. So therefore, this is a surjection and that's a contradiction because we can't have a surjection from V to the power set of V according to Cantor's theorem. So that's the contradiction that we seek and there can be no set of all sets. Let's do a quick recap. Today we proved Cantor's paradox which is that the set of all sets cannot exist. Our main tool was Cantor's theorem. What we wanted to prove is that the mathematical universe is not a set. Of course we started by proving or rather assuming that V is a set. We took its power set which must exist and in the end what we did is that we constructed a surjection from V to the power set of V which is impossible according to Cantor's theorem therefore there can be no set of all sets okay thank you for listening and I'll see you next time